This is a 12 megapixel wildlife camera. This is what it looks like and to give you an idea of the size. The three circles at the bottom are passive infrared detectors. They have a total coverage of 120 degrees because two point to the side and one directly ahead and they trigger the camera which is that small circle above them. You'll notice it sits on a piece of plastic, I'll show you it here, that's curved, so that's suitable for, for example, you're attaching it to a tree. There's a brass screw thread, there's an attachment that goes in there for mounting it, I'll show you that later. And then there's a little circular plug there in the bottom left, which is for using mains power if you want to, but normally you'll be using batteries, and I'll show you those in a moment. There's two clips to open it, and in the middle there's two pieces of plastic that you can put a padlock through if you wish to. I'll open it up. There's the monitor. In the bottom left, the blue thing, that's my SD card plugged in. Then just to the right of that, I'll freeze it for a moment. That's a mini USB port for outputting from here to a TV. And to the right of that is the switch, the power switch, three positions off, test and on. I'm going to dim the light so you can see what's going on, and then I'm going to flick that switch to test. So the monitor comes on. The whole idea of the test mode is to set the camera up to the way you want it. So this is where all the menus are. So for example, if I uh, press the menu button, go to mode, I can choose between having video, stills, or both. Photo size, you can choose between 12 megapixels, 8 and 5. Those are the video size options. If taking still photographs, when the motion sensor is triggered, you can take more than one photo if you want to, up to three. When the sensor triggers video, you can set it to record anything up to 10 minutes. I've got it set to 30 seconds at present. You can change the interval between still photographs. I've got it set to every second, but you could change that to as long as every hour. That's particularly useful for doing time-lapse photography, which this camera does. And there's lots of other options too. So it's set up the way I want it. So I'm going to move that switch off test, push it over to the right so it's on. So now it's ready to go. To help you set it up, in test mode you get feedback. I'm moving my hand in from the right here and that blue light just flashed, that shows that one of the side sensors has just fired. I keep on moving my hand in and eventually a red sensor, there you are, will fire because that's showing that the middle sensor uh, has been fired. If I hold my hand still, they should both go off, which they do. Move my hand away and they uh, trigger again. So that helps you set it up. The batteries are located behind this compartment here, and it's very unusual in that I've only got it half full. What The way this works is that if you put in a full uh, set of eight AA's, then the battery will last twice as long, so that's a good feature. They estimate that it'll last up to a year with eight batteries and six months with four, but obviously that depends on the conditions, cold weather, they won't last as long, and also those are figures for lithium batteries. We've had a certain animal around and I set this camera up on still photographs to see if we could catch him in action. He's a very rare animal. There he is, I've caught him. There's three photos here because I set it up to take three still shots every time the sensor was triggered. Underneath the photograph at the bottom is the moon phase, we're two days from a full moon, the temperature, the date, the time and the camera ID number, I've set this to KF01 just in case, for example, you happen to have more than one camera. Helps to sort things out. What you get is the camera itself plus a USB cable, an AV cable, a nylon strap such as to strap the uh, camera to a tree, then you get a mount that screws into that brass screw thread you saw earlier, that's another part to the mount, and then the screws to go with it. You get a manual in French, even though it's English on the outside, so it's just as well that they give you an English manual as well. And then finally, you get a quick start guide. Thank you for watching, 
and I hope you found that helpful.